Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. It is Taco Tuesday, and I hope all your taco dreams come true. Um, we've got, of course, the San Francisco 49er game this weekend, of course. It is huge, and as per Bet US. The Cowboys are a four and a half uh, point underdog. Yeah, a four and a half point underdog against San Francisco, which is really and truly beat up. Now, I've been trying to find out more about Debo Samuels, um, who um, going into the game, he was allegedly sick, played about three plays. And Kyle Shanahan had said yesterday in his press conference that he was in the hospital with fluid on his lungs. So, i.e., that is pneumonia. Um, yesterday, this is actually pretty cool. Um, star wide receiver Debo Samuels was playing, uh, will be playing more than just himself throughout the remainder of the 24 season. On Monday, the six year veteran made a heartworm Instagram post issuing a promise to fellow 49ers. Excuse me. <sighs> wide receiver Brandon Ayuk, who suffered a torn ACL and MCL in San Francisco's loss to the Kansas City Chiefs on Sunday. I know I'm going to lay it all on the line for you, brother. This one hurt for real. Samuel wrote while simultaneously sharing an Instagram post from the 49ers official account. Debo sends support to Ayuk. So, um, we don't know where it is as far as Debo playing um come Sunday or if he's even in the hospital. I want to know if he at least gotten out of the hospital because, you know, fluid on the lungs, that's pretty serious. And um, they are beat the hell up. Of course, like you said, Brandon Ayuk is out, of course, with uh, the torn ACL and MCL. You got Christian McCaffrey, who's probably not going to be back until, you know, November after their bye week. And then you've got Trent Williams. What will be interesting is, Will he be suspended, possibly, or just pay a big fine um, because of the hit in the head with the guy? So that's going to be interesting to see what happens with all of that. But make no mistake about it, the San Francisco 49ers are definitely battered and bruised. That's not to say that the Dallas Cowboys are in good shape. Um, <laughs> and we keep seeming to... Mm. God... At some point in life, you have to admit that you made a mistake. We have gone through, and instead of people dealing with the message, they're trying to change the message. So, you know, Jerry Jones had been saying, you know, we couldn't afford Derrick Henry. Yeah, we couldn't afford Derrick Henry. And we realize how stupid that sounds when you're paying Trey Lance $5.3 million and you brought back Zeke. Okay, so he's changed the narrative on that. Well, well he didn't really fit to what we were doing. You know, see, here's where Jerry's argument is really ridiculous. Because he was basically saying, if you get Derrick Henry, if you get Derrick Henry, you got to play Derrick Henry. Well, you know what's kind of crazy? The first half of the Ravens game, he only got four carries. The second half, as they were closing it out, he had a total of 16 carries and one catch. And those 16 carries... We're 167 yards and one catch for 13 yards in a TD. Didn't we have Zeke Elliott two years ago splitting with Tony Pollard where he was getting about 15 carries a game? So now you're telling me that he didn't doesn't fit your situation? I'm sorry, Jerry. That just sounds plain stupid. Just plain stupid. Oh, well, he, he's too much of a superstar, and, and he's going to demand to get the ball because he's going to make, you know, 11.9 yards of carry. And that's not what we want to do. What? Okay. Then we get Troy Aikman, who's kind of saying, you know, part of your problems is the receivers aren't consistent that they're running lazy routes. Instead of that message getting taken, you get Mike McCarthy, who has the worst separation in football right now, basically say, 
what Troy Aikman has to say, excuse me, oh, sorry, what Troy Aikman has to say doesn't really hold much water with me. And this is where we look like we are the dumbest franchise in the world. Just dumb. Just plain stupid. I want to listen to uh, the guys on, on Get Up who was, who, they're, they're relitigating this whole thing so let's listen to this it was part of a longer interview that troy aikman gave last week talking about a lot of things regarding the current state of the cowboys mm -hmm. what you're going to hear here was some particularly strong criticism of the cowboys wide receivers and then that was brought up to mike mccarthy who responded we'll hear them both I think they run terrible routes, and I've thought that beyond this year. I think CD's got to improve in his route running. And as a quarterback, if you're not certain where guys are going to be consistently, it's hard to play the position. That's what I see. I see guys lazy coming off the line mm -hmm. of scrimmage, and I'm not speaking for Dak. A Dak may say, hey, I think everything's amazing. But as a former quarterback watching it, it's got to get a lot better. They don't carry any weight with me um, because, you know, I'm, I watch all the tape. Uh, I get to go to the meetings, I'm at practice, I'm part of the games, so I have a clear understanding of what, where, and in Troy, you know, statement in particular, I, I mean, I, I don't agree with the, the word selection, uh, but there is, there is definitely a uh, need for improvement in, in every position, you know, not, not just one position that the, he commented on. So that's the right answer for Mike McCarthy. Right, for sure. You know, what's he going to say? Oh, Troy's absolutely right. Our routes are awful. I can't, <laughs> glad I can't somebody even, finally said I it. can't even watch it. But the, and, and we'll, we'll bring this up when we have Ant Hawk in here tomorrow. You know, I wanted one of our receivers, he or Harry Douglas, or both to really, you know, really look at the tape so we'll get more deeply into it. But the general idea that the Cowboys don't look right on offense, I think is reasonable. I, I mean, Troy sees it. He's the right person to say it. But I think to some degree we all see it, right? A hundred percent. I mean, you're talking about an offense that is is struggling. We talk about their defense all the time, but their offense isn't good. And, and we had, you know, they pay C.D. Lamb. They paid Dak Prescott. You think they're going to have – and they've been one of the top offenses in the league the past three or four years. So you had expectation. There may be a drop-off, but not to this degree. And, and they struggle in all phases of the game. Mm -hmm. I will say this about quarterback play because I, I, I played with Peyton Manning for 13 years and Aaron Rodgers for a year. What he, what Troy is saying, I'm not, I'm not trying to speak on CD or any of the receivers, but what Troy is saying about the placement of receivers is vital. And it's not just are they in the right spot, it's are they in the right spot at the right time. Because a quarterback has to, to go through everything. The drops, the, the set, where his final foot hits, is he ready to throw? So all of those things are, 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 <clears throat> are enormous. And I, to the degree that Peyton Manning would go run routes for the receivers to show them exactly what he was trying to get done. And I think that is what Troy is kind of getting to. Coming mm -hmm. off the ball hard is one of the things that he brought up. And that's important also because you have tenths of a second that's right. to get rid of the ball. Every little bit counts. And your route is run based on, as from a defensive back's perspective, is we start by covering the go first. If you come off the ball lazy, oh, I'm sitting down. Yep. I'm not respecting the go. It gives the rush, the pass rush, uh, a, a less time to get or gives them more time to get there because you're not yet in your route. So That's if right. these are things that Troy is seeing, that can trickle down to impact the rest of the offense, especially when you don't have an all-pro offensive line or a great rushing attack. To the point where people say this team doesn't have an offensive identity, by that they mean – they don't know what they do well. Like, they used right. to be a team yeah. that Dak would eat There's you alive in the middle of the field in the seams, and then everything would branch out from that. Prior to that, they were a run-first team. Everything would branch out from that. Right now, you look at this team, and you're like, eh? I don't know what they do well. Sometimes they get lucky, sometimes they don't. Yeah, I think that's absolutely right. I mean, the last game they won, in, this one in Pittsburgh, you know, they, they needed a fourth down conversion at the very end, yep. right? Or else, or else they lose that game, and they're sitting there at two and four. I, I think... Look, they have, they have some young guys on offense, right? Two starters on the offensive line that are rookies. rookies yep. You know, Tolbert is still kind of coming, right? Like, that establishment-wise, they have CeeDee Lamb, they have Dak Prescott, they have Jake Ferguson, the tight end. Those guys have to be elite right now yeah. because everything else is they're, – they're figuring out what else they have. There is no run game None. at all. Uh, and and who is with Brandon Cooks sidelined? Like who are the other receivers? It felt like can Troy. It felt like Troy was speaking specifically to C.D. Lamb. Yes, I agree with that. And I think that. that's like, right, right? Like yeah. you have to be the guy. Like you're getting paid to be the guy, right? And 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 everybody else is still sort of in progress. So so sometimes and 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 I don't always love this, but I think it is worth pointing out that sometimes, particularly early in the season, people will say that point differential is a better way of judging how good a team mm -hmm. is than one loss record, right? Mm -hmm. You win some games because the ball bounces your way there, and. 
the Cowboys are three and three, which would suggest, okay, they're doing okay. But their point differential is minus 52. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, you know, when they lose, they lose hard. That's my point. Okay. <laughs> They're non competitive in some of these games yeah. against better teams. Non competitive. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that, I think there is an element of what Troy is saying. Again, it, I defer to him a thousand percent because he's sure. one of the greatest players ever. And I just watch. But you can see it. Yeah. Like you can yeah. see they don't seem to be playing with that same kind of crispness that the really good yeah. teams and do. I think you said this even at the beginning of the season. They, they got older and more expensive yeah. as an offense. And the worse problem, and more expensive. Well, yeah. And the problem is, is that you're depending on two guys at positions that without a run game can't be nearly as effective as they have been in the past. Yeah. So it was a tough weekend. Got in the Cowboys. Oh. Playoffs or way off? I'm going way off. I think they have too many problems to fix. Um. I don't think the, I mean Zeke. Yes, is coming back was is older than Tony Pollard, but you ended up going through with two rookies that are starting, so they're not older. That that's a misnomer. All right, good people. It seems like it's doom and gloom for the Cowboys, which is why I think things will turn around. As always, you know how much I appreciate you guys, and um, let's finish this up with my buddy Philly five hundred. It's just falling down because 500 is going to go in the net. So, you know, my ass can only take so much. You're right. <laughs> Up that ass. Come on. Hock work, hock work, hock work, hock work. Up yeah. Kick it. All right, let's get it. That ass it can only take so much. Fit, <laughs> fit. Come on. Hock work, hock work, hock work, hock work. The Eagles are trying to. Uh. Did I just say what I think I. <laughs> uh. Did.